Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about Boogie2988 in his documentary. There is a scene where Boogie, so the whole idea of the documentary is Boogie's run out of money, so he has to be very careful with his money. He There is a scene where he plays Magic the Gathering, he enters, you know, $30, it is what it is, right? And then he goes to the store owner or the employee or manager of the store and then he takes his cards he's got a two cradles he's got a city of traders and he goes and asks the store manager hey um i need to make rent i need a thousand dollars from you what can you pay me for these and he is shocked when the store manager essentially you know I, i'm pretty sure at that time it was around 40 percent so it was lower than buy list, right? Um, cradles typically never get under 400 retail. And he offered them $200 per cradle. Again, we don't see the condition of the cradles. There is that. Uh, so we don't really know if it was a, a good deal, a bad deal, because we don't know the conditions. But Buggy is shocked when it, he realizes he's not going to get his $1,000. He's going to get $400 for what I assume is two cradles and a city of traders or something like that. And yeah, that's Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. Most players think their collection is incredibly valuable. Most players think that they are wealthy in cardboard. And then when it comes time to pay rent, when it comes time for a medical emergency... They sell to people like the game store. And again, he's running a game store, right? There's players there. There's kids there. I mean, it looks like a good game store. Nothing against the game store, but he's not able to pay you 100% of comps. He can't even pay you 70. He's not a flipper. Like, here, I, here's, if you have a $100 card, um, here's, like, who can pay you what. Card Kingdom will pay you about 50%, right, online. So that's kind of the bottom, I understand. A flipper may pay you 70%. Or if they want to do like a mystery box, they might pay you a little bit more. So it is very important to understand that, you know, different people will pay you different things. But and but the flipper will only take the cards they want as opposed to a card kingdom. They'll take everything on their list. And typically speaking, their list is very expensive. Expansive. While the flipper is only looking for quick flips. No one will pay you 100%. Now you might be like, oh, I can put it on eBay. Okay, go put it on eBay. Go, go, bro. Put it on eBay. Spend that time. Spend that money. You might be scammed. You might be charged back. You know, that's on you. Okay? And if you have zero eBay feedback, good luck selling it, man. Because at that point, people think you're a scammer. I think you're a scammer. You don't have no sales. Right, so who's gonna buy it? Right, who's gonna? You're gonna get a very below market price on a card because you don't have feedback or ratings or reviews. So people don't get it. You know, people don't get it. like the only outcome for somebody like most of the Timmies from Alpha Investment is to come to a store owner like myself, sit down, and realize, wait, I'm not gonna get four hundred dollars out of four hundred dollars. Wait. This is like, the, this is Gayer's Cradle. I mean, imagine if Boogie showed MetaZoo. Can you even imagine if he bought in a bunch of MetaZoo and didn't realize it's like 2-0? Like, and then it's like, wait, what happened to this game? He's bringing like these, you know, $8,200 in Nightfall only to realize Nightfall is like $30 a box now. Retail. Retail. And again, that's the sad story is that most people will sell their cards when they're most desperate and they're going to be offered very low amounts of money. Um, this store is clearly, in my opinion, offering less than Card Kingdom would ever offer in Gayo's Cradle. But you know what? Boogie needs the money today. He needs the money today. Right? So he cannot wait. He cannot send it in to Card Kingdom, wait a month for them to cut him a check. He needs the money today because rent is due tomorrow. So this whole documentary is a very interesting examination into boogie's life and into his hobbies right and i mean like i said man the times are getting tough out there um times are really expensive right now it is you no know, um our first 
meeting with the doctor is like six with insurance coverage is like seven hundred dollars a meeting and we had to meet this doctor at least once a month uh if we like her and yeah it's not going to get any cheaper man things are you know having a kid in the u.s and and uh is very expensive uh even more expensive than i originally thought it was and i already have you know half a million dollars probably not enough anyway back to boogie yeah that is boogie in a nutshell he does not realize that he's not going to get as most of them know most of the timmies when the, when you're talking about cases of stuff cases of an old set um the the problem is really easy is like there's only a few people who can buy that type of stuff if you're talking about like a loose box or not maybe you can make a sale on facebook maybe make a sale on ebay we're talking about case a case of product the only person who would need a case of product would be a game store right like this idea that there's all these investors buy no they already have their own cases guys <laughs> don't you guys get it they already have too many boxes heavy bags of their own they're not going out and obtaining more heavy bags unless it's from somebody like alpha investment and these heavy bags are quote newer heavy bags but these guys are getting fleeced like an mf -er. i mean they've been sold that these cards are valuable guys you know don't sleep on these cards they're super valuable cradles are one among i mean cradles are dual land i mean i would even say cradles is the, the best green dual land outside of eh, you say trop islands better i don't know i would probably take the trop island but some people would take the cradle and that card is being this guy's probably giving 40 percent assuming it's near mint again that's a big assumption right for a card that owed you know, maybe 40 percent 35 percent comps right the city of traders like it's yeah and uh nothing nothing in the collectible like the the problem is twofold buggy cannot sell to anyone but his local store owner he doesn't have the patience to do ebay he doesn't have the patience to do tcg player and very few magic players do boogie thinks that these cards are very valuable but he's thinking that they're valuable because of what he paid for them not what somebody would pay him so at the end of the day when people need to make rent you're gonna take a haircut and you're gonna be happy about it and the store needs to make money like people are just like oh you don't get it alpha investment is a business i no i get it i own a business in his exact vertical right I, we both own magic stores. He runs his store differently than mine, but yeah. Um, I get it. You need margins. You need to make money. But the difference I, in opinions is what we pay somebody. So for Kratos, I probably give him a premium. I probably give him Card Kingdom plus 15% on a Cradle. Rudy Chan probably gives him 10%, maybe 5%, maybe free 50, right? He, li he likes these memes, right? So there's a meme like free fitty, right? And uh, I'm positive if that's what he would be offering on this card. Because he's a meme master. Um, anyway, that's Buggy in a nutshell. Terrible experience, man. Terrible to look at.